Bookstep Mini C or Bucket Book Inkbit Color 3? That's a question I get asked quite a lot, which isn't really a big surprise because here we have two 7.8 inch color ink tablets with the same Inkaleta 3 technology. But that's actually where the similarities end because other than that, those two are very different. With 3 and a 10 grams, the Bookstep Mini C is the heavier for two reasons. It has a flush gas front and a larger battery, which I come to in a moment. The glass front is scratch resistant and overall helps make the Bookstep Mini C feel super sturdy. But it also feels a bit bikeier in their comparison. Not by much, but still noticeable. With 267 grams, the Bucket Book Inkbed Color 3 fits more comfortable to hold. It's a weight difference you can definitely feel when holding the devices for longer periods. What's also better on the Pocketbook Inkbit Color 3 are the physical buttons right at the bottom edge on the front. They're easy to reach and thanks to the three-dimensional shape, the two page them buttons are also easily found with your fingers without looking. The front isn't flush however, so in contrast to the flush books that mean C screen, the display on the Pocketbook Inkbit Color 3 is slightly recessed into the body which also makes this screen not as scratch resistant as on the book's tablet. That said, I've never had a problem with recessed screens getting scratched on the Eridus before. And also, there's a pretty awesome solution for a front cover that you can simply attach to the back of the device. This solution helps protecting the screen while not adding much bulk. Speaking about it, there's also an IPX at water protection on the Inkbit Color 3, which is always great to have to get the extra peace of mind. The Bookstep Mini C, on the other hand, has dual speakers, while the Inkbit Color 3 only has one. So music and audiobooks sound a bit better on a book's tablet. With 51 gigs of available internal storage, the Bookstep Mini C also offers almost twice the storage compared to the 27 gigs, of the Inkbed Color 3, but be fair, because of the operating system on the books that Mini C, you're more likely to need that extra storage. I'd say for most people, the Inkbed Color 3's internal storage is sufficient, but obviously in this case, more is better. Both can't be expanded with an external card. So both have the same screen size and are using the same screen technology. And you won't see big differences because of that. But still, they are slightly different in a couple of points that can make a difference depending on what's most important to you. The LEDs on the books that many see to illuminate the ink screen are located at the top, while they are located in the bottom bezel on the Bucket Book Ink but Color 3. The top positioning on the books tablet is a bit unconventional and slightly dulls the contrast and colors when looking at the screen at a slightly wider angle. You get that same effect when looking at the Inkbit Color 3 screen at a narrow angle, but that's something I typically don't do. In either case, it's not a night and day difference, but overall, it's a bit better on the Inkbit Color 3. Luckily, you can't just rotate the books that many see by 180 degrees if you want to get the most out of it. You just need to be careful that you don't hit the bow button when leaning it on a desk like this. In terms of display quality, the Pocketbook Ink by Color 3 also has a very slight advantage when it comes to color gradients. There is more color banding on the books, but it's a smoother fading gradient on a Pocketbook. Both aren't perfect because they only can show up to 4096 colors, and there's also a bit of compromise that comes with that limitation. So while I prefer the Inkbit Color 3 in that regard, there are compromises to be made and you won't get a perfect color output of the source material on either of those devices. Also noteworthy that the Pocketbook e-reader needs a bit of adjustment to get the same display quality as book stars out of the box in my opinion. Color saturation on both devices mostly comes down to those settings. Both devices are essentially the same when it comes to color saturation. And again, same as with the other points, the frontal quality is also pretty comparable between the two. The biggest difference is definitely a maximum brightness of 89 nits on the Bookstep Mini C compared to 58 nits on the Pocketbook Inkbit Color 3. 
So while 58 nits are more than enough to brighten up the Kaleida 3 screen, the 89 nits on the book's tablet make it seem a bit crisper at times. So I can see people preferring the book's tablet simply because of that. But on the other hand, one of the main reasons to use e-ink is to reduce light exposure from electronic devices. So if that's something you want to achieve, the higher maximum brightness isn't needed as you typically dial down a brightness anyways. The equality of the front that is also a bit better on the book's tab mini C, with it having one of the most uniform front LEDs I've ever seen. The Ubaka Book Impact Color 3 isn't bad either, but looking for it, you can see a slight brightness gradient from top to bottom. I doubt it will cause issues for most people, but if you're looking for the more uniform front light, the Bookstep Mini C will most likely be the better choice. But to add to that, I've read comments where people still had issues with the Bookstep Mini C's front light uniformity, nonetheless. So as always with e-ink devices, there is a bit of variance to that. So if you're getting a books device, definitely get it from a source where you can easily return it. I typically go for Amazon if possible. With Pocketbook, at least in Europe, that's less of an issue to look out for in my experience as the company is located in Switzerland. As I've said in past reviews, the front LED is needed on Kaleido 3 screens to make reading comfortable. These two are no different. Because of the mentioned RGB layer, the screen is pretty dark on both when not using a front LED. And other than being outside in the sun, the front LED is needed to comfortably use the device. So when being indoors, I always use it on both. Ghosting is also comparable on both, but the Bucketbook Inkbed Color Free tends to be a bit better when it comes to dark colored material, and the book's tablet seems to show less ghosting in lighter colors. But in both cases, you will encounter ghosting, especially when it comes to color content. The biggest difference between these two devices by far is to be found on the software side. I already called the books that Mini Z a tablet and the pocket book ain't but color three and e-reader. And that's what you have to keep in mind here. The Bookstep Mini C runs Android 11 and offers a lot more options overall. It's not meant to be just an ear reading device, but can be used as a typical tablet. Same as with an LCD. Sure, you'll need to compromise because the e ink screen isn't as quick as an LCD, but thanks to Android and the different ink modes you can switch to, the Bookstep Mini C offers great expandability options. But with those options, the tablet is also more complicated to use. Pocketbook, on the other hand, runs a custom user interface based on Linux that doesn't offer expandability. The Pocketbook Color 3 offers a lot of options nonetheless, one e-reader, but it's still pretty straightforward and easy to use because Pocketbook put in a lot of work over the past few years to improve what didn't work well in terms of user experience and managed to catch up to Amazon and Kobo when it comes to handling. Even though Books offers more options for comics, I typically use the fit to width option, and I think it's the best option on this screen size, at least for me. And that works pretty well on both devices, and compared to a full-size comic, I'd say the reading experience is pretty great overall. Even better, considering you don't need an external light source on either one. If you want to use the device for browsing a web, watching videos, or listening to podcasts, the Bookstep Mini C is the way to go. Thanks to the book's super refresh technology, you can switch to faster ink refresh modes, making these sorts of contents usable. But on the other hand, if data privacy is important to you, I wouldn't pick the Bookstep Mini C because of the phoning home issue I regularly mention in my reviews. The Bucketbook Inkbet Color 3 also has a browser, which is useful for quickly Googling something, but it's simply not as good for continuously browsing the web. But of course, that can also be an advantage if you want to use a device like this for digital detox. Text-to-speech is present on both, and you can also listen to audiobooks. Since the Bucketbook Inkbet Color 3 is an e-reader, there's a proper store directly integrated where you can buy ebooks and audiobooks. With the books that mean is e, you need to either use Android apps for that or use the browser for shopping ebooks. 
So all in all, Webbooks offers a lot more options. Bucketbook is easier to use. For more details on both, please check out the individual reviews linked in the description below. One thing completely missing from the Bucketbook Ink by Color 3 is no taking with a pen. The books that Mini see is not just a regular tablet, but always a no taking device with a Wacom touch screen. And a pretty good one at that because pen latency is so low that writing feels pretty great, even though the screen is missing a paper-like texture we know from a couple of other tablets. The Bucketbook Impet Color 3 actually also has decent note-taking features inside of books. And you can even scribble on the screen with a finger, but features and usability are nowhere near as good as on the books that many see in that regard. I mentioned the bigger battery on the books that many see in the beginning, which is needed because the book super refresh technology draws more energy compared to the typical ink devices without it. Every page turn seems to need more energy. So to counter that, books put in this massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery compared to the 2,900 milliamp hours on the Pocketbook Ink Bit Color 3. Don't get me wrong, the battery capacity on the Ink Bit is still massive for an e-reader, but obviously much smaller than on the book's device. Because besides the book's super refresh technology, Ink Kaleido itself also seems to need a bit more energy, but not because the screen technology needs more power, but I suspect because rendering colors with two different screen layers takes more computational effort, which is most likely also the reason why Bucketbook upgraded the CPU on the Inkbed line to make it more responsive. Having said all that, even though the battery capacities are completely different, Better Left is comparable on both when the front is set to equal levels. Using the books that many sees higher max on brightness or taking notes will put it at a disadvantage though. But obviously you'll get something in return for that. At last but not least, and that might actually be the most important point in all this, the books that many see costs 400 euros the Pocketbook Ink, but Color 3 only 320 euros. In US dollars, the prices are a bit closer together with 350 to 320 dollars. But it seems to be easier to get a discount with the Pocketbook e-reader, bringing the price down to something like 265 euros at times. So which one is the better choice really depends on your personal needs. The books that Minisi offers a lot more functionality thanks to Android, and the Wacom note-taking capabilities, but it's also not as comfortable to use in terms of handling and its software. So I'd say the books that Minisi is the right device if you like to tinker a bit and intend to use Android apps or want to take notes. The Pocketbook Ink by Color 3 is more of a traditional e-reader. That's the right choice if you don't want to make things overly complicated and also like the idea of a digital detox without compromising too much and want to pay a little less. That's it. Like and subscribe if you found this comparison helpful. Add to not miss future reviews and comparisons. Thanks for time watching and see you in the next one.